going to show you how to make a bar chart using JMP. Here's the problem from a uh, textbook we're going to use in this video. Uh, this is problem 2.16 from section 2.2 of the first edition of Rocky, Roxy Peck's uh, statistics learning from data textbook. Uh, so what we want to do is make a bar chart similar to the one down here in the answer. Uh, the statement of the question gives us this table. Uh, we're going to graph that table as a bar chart. Uh, this table is from the report findings from the 2008 administration of the college senior survey and this uh, frequency distribution here summarizes student responses to the question if you could make your college uh, choice over would you still choose to enroll at your current college you can see that about 44.7 percent of them said de definitely yes 37.3 uh, percent said probably yes 13.4 percent said probably no uh, and 4.6 percent said definitely no let's go ahead and use this information to construct a bar chart I'm going to show you how to do that using uh, JMP so let's we'll go ahead and open up JMP um, and then if you want to open up the data table um, that comes with this I put a link to the data table and the statement of the problem uh, should be in the caption or the description part of the YouTube page this is on um, so go ahead and open up the data table I'm going to just click on the open the uh, folder icon here to open up um, this is exercise 216 uh, once I open up that data table it opens up a separate window with the distribution in it okay to get this bar chart done uh, one way to do it is just go up here to the drop down menu uh, labeled graph click on that and click on the graph builder icon or you can go over here in the toolbar if you can locate uh, the four squares with the yellow the graph builder icon click on that so this this way uses the graph builder function within JMP to get the bar chart done here here in the uh, left column or the left side of the the uh, graph builder you can see we've got our two variables here the response variable and the relative frequency I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this response variable just by left clicking on it and then I'm going to drag it over to where the X variable should go and then let go of the uh, left click so once again you're going to grab the response variable just by left clicking and holding it down and drag that over to where the X variable ought to go then you're going to click on the relative left click on the relative frequency variable hold down uh, left click and hold down on the relative frequency variable and then drag that over to where it says the Y variable ought to go and drop it in there so then come up to the top and look for the bar chart icon okay the bar chart icon and then left click on that and boom you got your bar chart okay so one thing you may want to do is uh, you may want to change the color of your bars in the background of your bar chart uh, one way to do that is you could right click right click this time anywhere inside the graph uh, and then I'm just going to go down here uh, and highlight where it says graph and then change my background color. Um, there should be a way to change my bar color um, as well. Let's see if I can... Um, okay, so the way I did my, change my bar color last time was I come over here, right over here in the legend, where it says the relative frequency variable is colored blue and just right click on that right click on that okay and then then highlight where it says fill color and then go ahead and change your fill color um, I'm gonna change this to um, yellow I guess it doesn't look very uh, very appealing but anyway that's how you can change your bars color um, maybe I'll go back over here and change it to um, maybe a little more appealing colors I don't know what colors appeal to you um, anyway that's how you change the colors of your background and your bars another thing you might be interested in doing is um, labeling your bars with the actual relative frequency or the percentage frequency uh, you can do that over here just click on the the no labels or icon or drop down menu here and then click on left click on label by value so that'll give us the the relative frequency of each bar another thing you may be interested in doing is you may want to 
have your graph show the bars in descending order or ascending order um, according to relative frequency one way to do this is to come down here where the x-axis is and right click right click and right here where it says order by just change this to relative frequency uh, descending so then you can see I've got my uh, bars descending in order of relative frequency you can all also sort these ascending and again to do that you just come down here uh, to the move your cursor down here to the x-axis and right click and uh, left click on order by the correct order the, the rich whichever one you want to order by okay so there you have it uh, that's how you do the graph uh, one thing you may be interested in doing is uh, taking this graph and exporting it or saving it as an image file type so that you can import it in or paste it into your word document or different uh, file type document uh, to get that done I'm just gonna come up here to the top of the graph builder um, window here and then click on file and I'm just gonna click on save as and I'm gonna save this as a different file type I'm gonna save it as an image file type I'll save it as a PNG file or you could save it as a JPEG I'll go ahead and save it as a PNG Uh, go ahead and name it. Okay, I guess I'm naming it Graph Builder. And save. Okay, that's going to save save the graph as a, in this case, a PNG file. And this is what it's going to look like in this case. Okay, now I want to show you something else you may be interested in. Is changing the ordering of the categories along your x-axis. Uh, so let me show you that quick. Over here I've got a, a totally different data set. Totally different data set. Uh, this time I've got two columns labeled the seasons uh, and the relative frequency. I've got the seasons ordered summer, winter, uh, fall, spring. Uh, when I go and I make a bar chart, um, you can see what the bar chart looks like. Uh, there it is. But suppose I want to change the ordering of my categories uh, along the X to read as winter, then spring, then summer, then fall. Okay, how can I change the ordering of the, those bars? Uh, well, the way to do that is come back over here to your data table and right click on the seasons, right click on your x axis variable on, the, on that column, right click, and uh, then move your cursor to where it is highlighting column properties. And then what we're looking for is value ordering. Left click where it says value ordering that'll bring this window up and right down here in this value ordering window here uh, I can manipulate and move up and down the uh, uh, ordering of the labels here so I'm gonna I want winter to be at the top so I'm gonna highlight that and move that up uh, then spring so I'm gonna highlight spring and move that up uh, so I've almost there I've got winter spring yep I'm there I've got winter spring summer and fall so I've got the I've got the categories in the ordering I want so once I click on apply over here that should change uh, the picture uh, the way that I want it so it's got notice it's got the seasons uh, ordered the way that I want them ordered so if I want to move winter down okay I can move it down here and then just click on apply and once I do that it changes the graph okay so that's how you change the ordering of the categories on your bar chart